should have started with a video of the Prius. I know, we right? Do, we should do a... This a, isn't a Prius. Or a Yaris. This is a Yaris. We should this is a Yaris. We should do a, um, a consumer report on this piece of shit. So good morning and welcome to the channel. Uh, today is day one of a uh, three series video that I'm uh, a three series vlog that I'm going to be posting. Uh, it is day one of Infocom International 2017. Uh, I'm super excited about uh, uh, about going to Infocom. I've been wanting to go to Infocom for the last couple of years, and this is the first time I've been able to do it. Um, just got out of uh, the airport for. It was uh, Orlando International Airport. Uh, we are in a fancy uh, Toyota Yaris rental car right now on our way to the convention center for our first seminar. So I'll catch up with you guys in a few minutes when we get there. First impressions of Infocom 2017 in Orlando, Florida. It is so humid right now. When the plane landed, the windows on the airplane immediately fogged up. And I was like, I'm not going to be looking forward to it. And at least John parked us close to Infocom. We, uh, close if you're a marathon runner. Close if you're a marathon runner. Yeah, so we've heard that there's a shuttle. We're on the south side of the uh, convention center. Uh, we're going to take a shuttle over to the west side. I just came out of two uh, two sessions here at Infocom. Uh, the first session was uh, designing and trouble troubleshooting audio conferencing systems. Uh, that was actually kind of just a refresher for me. I, I didn't really learn too much in there, but it you know went over all sorts of uh, you know different type of microphones that you can use in uh, conference rooms, um, the pros and cons of each ones, uh, different types of loudspeakers, uh, why you would use something like line arrays in the front versus ceiling speakers. Um, what else did we go through? Uh, we talked about uh, DSPs, which is uh, digital signal processors. Uh, talked a lot about echo cancellation because when you're in conference rooms, you're dealing a lot of near-end and far-end audio. Uh, when you're dealing with near-end and far-end audio, you need to cancel out the uh, when there's nothing coming from the reference mics in the room. You need to make sure the mics are essentially canceled out, so you don't get that echo uh, back in. Uh, we talked about uh, different audio codecs. Uh, we talked about uh, uh, VoIP best practices and VoIP troubleshooting. Second session was uh, was audio signal processing, and basically that was more or less a refresher as well. Uh, but it just talked about how important setting up your proper gain structure is first. If you don't have your proper gain structure set up uh, first, then you know you, you don't have enough limiters or gates or or uh, or compressors uh, to fix your bad game structure. So it was it was good. It was about a two-hour class. Uh, so now I'm actually going to have a good time, and I'm going to go hit the exhibit floor and show you guys uh, some of that. So I'll see you in a second.
Time for a little break. We just walked around the out, the exterior of the uh, of the expo. And how long did we start at about three o'clock? Left your car because it's almost 50 minutes. It took almost 50 minutes to walk around just the outside, just the perimeter. That's just like we haven't even dug into the inside to see what this place has really got. Uh, we're super excited uh, to be here and I'm uh, super excited to share with you guys. Let's see it. So I've got uh, Michael Wiener here from Vanguard and he's going to talk to us about one of his uh, amazing LED displays that he has here. Are we on? Sure yeah, we're, yeah, we're, yeah, this is live. We're going to show them my beautiful city. Look at this. Okay, okay let's get serious. They don't have it. Screen behind me is a P1.3. There are lower picture pictures, 1.2, 1.1, 1.0. We compete with a few people in that upper end of the market. The first thing to know is that this screen is front access. And we'll show you that in a second over here. Nobody has a low pixel pitch front axis. Mm -hmm. The next thing to note is that it has 24 bits. The highest bits to date in the market. The average is 14, 16, maybe a touch of 18. Nobody has 24. This screen also has redundant power and data. Very few people include power and data. This little piece here, which we will cover the screen with, is to prevent moiré. So for the broadcast industry, this becomes critical. And this is a patented piece that we have. Let's walk over here for a second. This is the cabinet that we've been talking about. This is front access, and you can see how easily this goes on. You want a video in? Sure. Stop there for a second. Interesting. Here's your power in, power out, no interior cables, data in, data out. Again, no cabling at all. Stephen, continue. It's amazing how, how, they, how they just snap together. You know, and our panels that we use, we've got the whole back is just cables, you know, every, everything, you know, everything's all daisy chained together. And there you have it. Really fantastic screen. And again, mm -hmm. take a picture of the screen itself and pictures worth a thousand words. I could blah blah all day long, but the picture itself is so spectacular. Just a spectacular, spectacular. I mean, really, no matter how close you get to it. That's it. I mean, it, it, it's really amazing. It really is an incredible picture. What we're trying to do is compete, look at that picture, compete head on with the, we want people to perceive us as being the leader in the industry. And by introducing products like this, the, the, the reaction to the show is pretty stupendous because it's so special and an excellent product. With front access, all the 24 bit, so, so if you want, if you want top of the line, you know, LED panels, you know, high end, top of the line LED, then Vanguard is the place to go. You know, and you want to talk to Michael Weiner. You want to talk to Michael Weiner. He owns, he owns a company, and I'll put his contact information uh, in the description below. The guy in the red tux. The guy in the red tux. Hey, thank you very much. Thanks so much.
to speed that one up. He's really close to you. You better, you better get the plane better. I am. It's kind of hard. <laughs> I never played it. Before. I'm missing that long one. I need to go to the it's really close. Oh my God. Frank might do it. Oh you lost. Like 300 points. Wow. wow. That was close. Up top. That was close. That was close. Oh my God, that was close. Are you sweating? Are you sweating? I was sweating a lot. <laughs> How about this way? Please. Yeah, For the reveal. For the reveal, ready? <laughs> oh, this way? Dun -dun 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 -dun. Winner is? I'm a winner for a swag bag. Swag bag. Oh, yes. Nate, carry your laptop. What a great day today was. I had an absolute blast uh, at the convention center in Orlando, Florida today at the Infocom um, show. Uh, like I said, I'd never been to an Info Infocom show before, uh, and it was just uh, truly amazing. I had a great time. There was just a little bit of everything, and I'm looking forward to tomorrow, the other seminars I'm going to take tomorrow, and then uh, on Friday as well. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Um, if you did enjoy it, uh, please uh, give me a thumbs up. And if it's your first time uh, tuning into this channel, uh, please subscribe. Have yourself a great night. And please stay tuned for another video tomorrow. Have a great night.